This is a video explaining how we use a 470 ohm half watt resistor in line on your Miranda X electrical alternator to power a PCM bypass or secondary alternator on a bracket to uh, turn on with an ignition source or a flip switch off a relay. But basically, you're going to use this 470 ohm half watt resistor in line on whichever wire on the plug that you receive with the alternator or that you purchase separately will go in line and correspond with the L terminal clearly printed on the on the regulator of the alternator. And again, I've said this in a few, several other videos that you do not care necessarily about what color what corresponds to. Every other man, every, tons of manufacturers have different plugs. Um, depending on what kind of alternator you have, you might get a different color plug even for me that's different in this video. So don't just think that it's gonna be the yellow, although we are gonna use the yellow wire in this video. Because again, the pins line up L with the yellow wire on this one. What you'll basically do is cut the wire or go from the wire from here and use, uh, these are solder crimps. You don't necessarily have to use these. Um, these ones I just like to use because they have heat shrink already on them. And once you get them hot, there's uh, little solder balls in here that will actually um, connect and make the, the connection a little bit stronger on the resistor lead. I usually fold the leads over before I put them in here as well to make it a little bit thicker for the solder to connect to. And then what you'll do afterwards, after you do this, is then put heat shrink over it. Uh, a lot of people will take like a zip tie or um, a, a piece of plastic to reinforce this joint. Uh, I don't do that. I generally find two layers of heat shrink is more than enough to keep it, keep it pretty solid. Um, this is the only wire that you are going to need to do this. Um, and uh, just for the purpose of the video, I'm basically going to just take this to battery hot, which is just going to be my ignition source and basically going to use my hand as a switch. Since the resistor is in line, as you can see, the alternator does kick on the charge. And uh, if the resistor wasn't in line in here, the reason why we have to use these resistors is because the alternator is made to go in line with the light bulb. So there is an element of current limiting going on in the factory circuit. Um, what you're doing in this case is basically using something that's going to limit the input into the into the actual regulator itself at around a half a watt for the turn on circuit. Um, the, the purpose of that is so the regulator doesn't overload itself and just fail, which is what will happen prematurely if you do not use this resistor. Um, again, any questions you have, you can go ahead and fire away in the comments in the video. Thank you. Bye.